Somebody, I'm trapped! I can smell gas! Get me out of here! Move the pipes! And hurry, please! Sneak some gas in here! Come on! Come on! Hurry up! We don't have long! Get back! She's gonna go! Run! It's gonna blow!
Devin Weston sent me. Oh, oh, right. Uh, the helipad is on the roof. You pissed off the rogue officer! Please, please, just take it easy. You pissed off the wrong cop, maggot. No, you got the wrong guy, man. I think I'm gonna fix your attitude. What are you gonna do to me? I'm putting your ass in the cage. You here for the ride along? Jump in. Ride along? Sure. Let's go. Boot up the scanner thing. It can pick up those new ID cards, right? When it's on, just fly where I point. Okay, booting up. You can use the stick to move the camera. Zoom in and out. It'll pick up pedestrians carrying the 2012 SA State license. If you target them, the scanner acts. Try to do 
and I... I think you need help, man. I ain't the pervert! You are! Swingers! Please hit him! Why'd you get a boob job if she didn't want me looking? I didn't kill your dog. That wasn't me. Rip his cock off! We got a lot of cops! Not a lady! Go bigger! I think you need some help. Not Mulligan! You make me sick! Come in, Franklin! Suspect not in the area! I repeat, suspect not found in the area! All right, all right! Might be a couple of blocks east of him. Roger that. Hey, Jack, you disrespecting my girl, man. I've already paid her for a service. This is bullshit. Well, shit, now you're paying for the service of me not shooting you in the face, you disrespectful fuck. I've already maxed out my ATM with... Then you out of luck. Speaking to my woman like that, huh? What the hell is wrong with you? Uh, uh, shit, he was being rude, man. That ain't right. Disrespectful, man. You insane! He was just a John! You need to stop being so overprotective! You meant to be a pimp and you keep killing my customers! Hey, don't make me hurt you, ho. Shit, I'm trying real hard. You're going crazy! I knew I wasn't cut out for this game! Shit, baby, you know I love you, baby. I'm sorry. I'm an idiot, you know? Shit. Look, cool. We looking for 
for his lockup, dog. All right, stay on him and look out. Roger that. Car might be worth something? 
but it ain't. It's, it ain't got no resale. Zilch. They only made ten of these. You think anyone's gonna take it off your hands? It's too hot. Hey, 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 hey! Hey! Ah, uh, no! Mr. Clinton. Hey, Molly, right? I got that car for y'all. The Z-Type? Mr. Weston will be glad you caught us. He wanted to see it before we took off. We're on the way to his personal hangar at Los Santos International. I'll tell them to expect you at the gate. All right. Hey, I'm delivering the ride to Los Santos International. Shit, I think they both gonna be there, dawg. Devin and Molly. Say hello from me to Molly. Man, I ain't hitting on nobody for you, man. Least of all, her. Come on, why not? It's about time I settled down. Shit, man, you need like a lion tamer or some shit. This girl, man, she got balls, dawg, but she needs some serious stones to handle your ass. Just say hello. <laughs> man, I ain't gonna be a part of that. After everything I've done for you, ah, you are just like Michael. So, uh, the old hanging chad has only gone and reported that car stolen. Shit! And I spared this motherfucker. Attention all units. We've got a 'm supposed to meet Devin Weston here Mr. Weston's hangar is up there on the left oh there she is <laughs> you know if this beauty was a woman I'd have to break my 20 and under rule man I just stick to <laughs> driving all right hey tell me something you know how many of these things they made uh, shit, like ten? No, not like ten, man. Exactly ten. Oh, wow, man. You one of them type of dudes, huh? Tell you something. How'd you like to drive a car like this one, then, man? For real. Like this? Or this? Oh, man, right back at me, homie. Really nice. Hey, you know something? You're not like those, uh, snowbird retiree pals of yours. You are sharp, man. 
Man, I'm just looking for a paycheck for my services. No, no, don't worry. It'll come. That'll come. But right now, it is life lesson time, pal. You have got to wake up to what's real in this situation, bro. Take me, right? I am opportunity. I'm security. I'm fast cars, blow jobs. I got the world on a plate. Those two clowns, oh man, they are the worst kind of disaster that can ever come down. They are a full core meltdown, and you're just standing there soaking up major radiation. You have got to take stock, man. Make that call before it's too late. Yeah, all right, man. I will. Before it's too late, man. Yeah, yeah. Just take any car and go! What's up, homie? Hi. Hey, Bev! Oh, man, you fucking ruined the shot. You ruined the fucking shot! What the fuck you talking about? You ruined the fucking shot. It's a fucking reality show, and you ruined it, homie. Homie's got you them photos. Poppy Mitchell, the English princess, the others. Oh, right, man, you know? <laughs> Don't even remember, right? The whole thing is like... But what about my money? We're shooting a show here, trying to work. Hello? I'll just, you know, have somebody call my agent or something. Man, fuck you. Whatever. Uh, back to one. Please, we're shooting something. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Now, where, now where were we? Uh, guys, do, do we have enough shots of me jumping around the corner? Uh, I think we're good. We'll cut Poppy's reaction in when we get back to the studio. Awesome. I can't believe the effort I used to go to for celebrity shots. If I'd known I could just get my agent to call their agent and stage it all, my life would have been so much easier. Yeah, well, welcome to the big leagues, my friend. Let's get some lead-in lines, and then we'll wrap. Sure thing. Uh, we're rolling? Good. Okay. Poppy Mitchell, all-American good girl turned deviant slut. For years, she's cultivated the image that butter wouldn't melt in her mouth. One way or another, mother...
Another expensive turd. Hi, honey. What are you talking about? I am at the gym. I just did 30 minutes on the elliptical. Probably going to do some weights now. Have some trust in me. Hey, pal. What's going on? My job is a cakewalk. If you say so. What in the world? Drop it. Let's go. Right there. Come in, come in. Thanks. You must be Michael. Yeah. You know, I used to have three secretaries. Now I have to make my own coffee and give myself a happy ending. <laughs> See, the ships are coming in. But the walls will hold us. Nelson in Naples. Pluto? I said Mars, you cocksucker. <laughs> Shoulder of Orion. 
too. Devin Weston said you were a fan. Huge fan. Tell me, Michael. Devin Weston, did he... Does he want you to bump me off? No, not at all. He said you were retiring but might need some help on a movie. Only assholes retire, Michael. Him and my son, they want to put me out to pasture so they can turn this place into condos or a theme park or something. But this place is a dream factory. Well, maybe they have different dreams. Some days, I don't blame them. You know, they always say, never work with children or animals. Well, I want to add to that list. Never work with directors or actors. This picture is going to kill me. All right. So what's it about? It's perfect. Set in Liberty City. Meltdown! It's all being shot on green screen right out back there. We take a look at the financial crisis, and then we boil it all down into a really simplistic battle between two yuppies with lots of training montages. So what's the problem? Milton McElroy. I cast him in the second lead because he's cheap. Zero talent, incidentally. Well, he's got this new agent, Rocco Pelosi. He's been hassling us about renegotiating the deal. So now, he's holding up shooting until he gets paid. That sounds problematic. It would be if the director wanted to shoot. Anton Baudelaire. Ever heard of him? That doesn't surprise me. Now he's having a mental breakdown, pissing all over himself who knows where. <sighs> all right. Looks like you got yourself that new assistant. But no happy endings. <laughs> I love you already. Hey, Solomon, I'm just doing that thing. Good, good. Now, I realized in my excitement, I forgot some details. Yeah, it seemed obvious. You want this Pelosi guy clipped. No, God, no. Is that an option? No, no, no. Bad idea, bad idea. No clipping anyone. Just teach him some manners. He's also in my director's ear as well, if you'd believe it. So teach this punk a lesson and bring the talent back to set, ideally in a more collaborative mood. I'll see what I can do. They all gonna be at the club? I'm told it isn't a club so much as a rat pit. Anton and Milton are supposed to be there, and Pelosi's on the way to pick them up. He's taking them to his lawyer to sign the contracts, so if he hears there's someone from the studio coming, he'll get him out fast. All right. I'll go in quiet. I'll see you on the set, boss. Stuck in bottles, implants, tramp stamps, all the real shit. 
that's Pelosi Entertainment. Now give me a minute here, just a minute. I gotta go grab something inside. Johnny, we nearly got the club, we're finally a go. Now you take care of these guys, no pole feet, okay? Let's go. Be here. Hold on, asshole. This is a closed site. I gotta call my boss. Uh. has been worried sick. You get lost, Wrinkles? Who's this jackass? Hey, you! Oh, turns out these guys are in love with their contract. So they'll be going back to the set with me. Can you believe this fucking clown? No! This guy's all mine! Violence always makes me want to use. All right, spray tan. We're gonna make a new deal. You leave my people alone, and I don't toss you off this roof. All right, yeah. Okay, sure, man, sure. All right. Let's get back to the lot. Whoa, whoa, hey! Look, you can bully him, but you can't bully Talon, buddy. We are not shooting until I get a new deal. Can't bully Talon? Just watch me. You're gonna be a good boy when I'm done. I don't know who you think you are. Just jumped up to studio security? I ain't security. I'm Solomon's assistant. You don't have to go this fast to prove your point. Everyone serving coffee, selling cars, typing in spreadsheets wants a 
Solomon's office. Come on. Look, I'm feeling a little keyed up. How about I call my guy, go on a little jolly, and call Solomon from wherever I wake up in, in a week? How about you see him right now, and we go flying again if you even look like you'll fail a piss test at any point on this shoot? Wonderful surprise. Anton, my boy, you're an artist, I know that. And this story is the best kind of art. A simplistic, cliche-ridden pile of dross that you will turn into magic. Get a grip, I love ya. So, Solomon, Milton here has a little something he wants to say to you. Say it. Ah, uh, I, I just, just want to say that I'm sorry for any misunderstanding, sir, and I... I appreciate all the opportunities that, that, that you've given me. Of course, of course. Michael, what can I say? You're a natural. I love you. Well, you're too kind. No, no, I mean it. I don't mean to presume. But would it be okay if I gave you a shout? This shoot seems cursed for some reason or another. I need an associate producer. I'd love that. We'll talk soon. I gotta go. Oh, hell yeah. Hey, Mr. Madrazo. How's that rebuild going? Good. I need to see you. Come to La Fuerta Blanca, my ranch off Senora Road, and bring Mr. Clinton. Hey, look. Franklin? I hardly know the kid. I don't want him caught up in this. You'll need another pair of hands. All right, there's another guy. Trevor Phillips. Me and him are partners. Okay. I'll have my people messenger him. Dr. Isaiah Friedlander speaking. Hey, Doc, it's me. Michael, are how are you? Not good, Doc. Not good at all. I well, we spent a lot of time over the I years discussing how negative condition. actions lead to negative thoughts as much as the reverse. Because of the compounding of your classical low self-esteem with your assorted sexual hang-ups, the desperate search for the easy answer in life, and your profound narcissism, reality will have a habit of handing you a repeated kicking. Anyway, what's up? Well, Doc, when you put it like that, I'm afraid I ain't got much hope. Have you been acting out again, Michael? <sighs> you know, a little up, a little down, Doc. What about the bad, Michael? Tell me. <sighs> okay, well, things are... I gotta tell you, Doc, they're off. I'm making bad decisions here. And other people are picking up the tab for it. My family left me. They won't even take my phone calls, but... But I did meet this guy, Solomon Richards. You might have heard of him. Richards Majestic? And we're doing some work together. <laughs> In the movies. Can you fucking believe that? I'm a movie producer. Well, I'm glad to hear things are looking up. But you shouldn't look for validation outside of yourself. Validation isn't a label. It comes from within. Any other violent outburst, Michael? I've been out of control, Doc. I think I got, you know, an imbalance or something. You know what I mean? One minute I'm... One person in the next minute, I'm another person. And you sometimes feel you're not responsible for your actions. It's all denial. There's a part of me, Doc, I just can't seem to control. Hmm. 
What about your sexual problems, Michael? I've been well. I mean, I've had thoughts, but I've been good. <sighs> Not a single problem. We all have thoughts, Michael. Not acting on them is real progress. So, hey, you know, as you can see, I'm kind of doing better. Not perfect, mind you, but better. You know, therapy can really help you, Michael, which is why you should be really pleased with what you're doing. But I'm going to have to stop you there. Oh, and there is one thing. Phone sessions are a little more expensive, obviously. Obviously. But so fulfilling. Let's speak again soon.